Welcome to today's strength training class. So we're first going to speak a little bit about the benefits of strength training. So when we do strength training for two to three times a week, we get the benefits of reducing our pain thresholds. It can release our feel-good hormones and reduce our stress. It helps to improve joint, muscle, tendon and bone health, as well as preventing and reducing the progression of chronic diseases. So when it comes to strength training, it is supposed to be challenging, but not impossible. So do the heaviness of the weight according to what you can handle, but it should push you a little bit. How the class is going to go today is we're going to do a warm up, then the main exercises, and then we're going to go into the cool down. The main exercises will comprise of 20 exercises where we'll be taking a 30 second break after every five. I'll be using one kilogram weights, but you can use according to your capacity. If you do not have weights at home, there are many other tools you can use. You can use a bottle, you can use um, a can, anything with resistance. If you feel that you're not able to use resistance yet, you can um, leave the weights and just follow along with the video. Starting with our warm up and standing, we're gonna do neck rolls to the left. Nice big circles as far as you're able to go. And to the right. We're going to do shoulder rolls backwards, thinking of bringing those shoulders all the way up to the ears and then down to the hips and going forwards. Doing arm circles backwards, placing your feet a bit wider for some balance and going forwards. We're going to go side reaches, opening up the rib cage and getting a stretch in the lower back. Gonna do hip circles, starting to the one side, keeping soft knees And to the other side, trying to notice how your back and your hips are moving. I'm going to go into hamstring scoops, going from the right to the left leg, making sure that the back is staying nice and straight. We're going to go into calf active stretches. This is all to prime our muscle connections for the main exercises. Going into bum kicks, getting an active stretch into our quadricep muscles. That's great. We're going to get started with the main exercises. We're going to start off with bicep curls, bringing the palms towards your biceps and then rotating them back down towards the floor. Making sure that your shoulders are going down to the floor and not scrunched up to the ears. We're going to go into tricep extension, so widen your feet a little bit, bend the knees and keep a straight back, engaging your abdominal muscles, thinking of bringing the shoulder blades down towards your hips as you do your tricep extensions.
and we're gonna hold it there for 30 seconds trying to keep those arms as straight as possible squeezing those elbows straight while still keeping your back straight We're gonna go into squats, keeping the weights by your chest. As we squat down, keep your knees outwards, should not roll inwards, thinking that your kneecaps are going over your second toe. As you stand up, initiating with the buttocks muscle. We're going to go into a squat with a row. So bringing those arms up as high as possible, bending the arms to the back and still thinking of the position of your knees while doing your squat. Only go as far down as what is comfortable for you at the moment. We're going to go into a rest break. We're gonna go into arm pushes up and then out to the side. Trying to maintain the level of your arms with your shoulders as you go out to the side. Keeping a relaxed upper shoulder position. And we're gonna hold those weights out to the side. Remember to continue breathing, focusing on your shoulder blades coming down to the back of your hips to engage those stabilizing muscles of the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Okay, we're going to bring our arms overhead and as we bring them back to the middle, keeping the elbows bent. This exercise is important to initiate with the abdominal muscles and to maintain that activation throughout. We're going to do side rotations. So going from the left and then rotating up towards the right, initiating with the abdominal muscles and stretching the arms up as high as possible. We're going to go to the other side. This is a great exercise to increase our function in terms of reaching up overhead to grab an object. And we're going to rest. If you need some water, have a drink.
We're going to do side lunges to the right, focusing on that knee position, let it not coming inwards. And you can do the step as large or as small as needed. And we're going to go to the left. This is going to work your inner thigh muscles. It's going to work the hip stabilizing muscles. And it's going to help with balance as well. Okay, we're going to do crossover boxes, bending between every single box, initiating with those stomach muscles and stretching the arms out so that they are straight. We're going to go into half lunges, the front knee remaining above the ankle and bringing the back knee down towards the floor, keeping the chest up straight. And then going to the other side, focusing on the knee position, not let it going too far over the ankle and really using your buttocks and your quadriceps muscles to control the movement and straighten up as far as possible. We're going to take a break. We're going to do thoracic rotations, so upper back rotations, holding both of the weights in front of you, maintaining your arms at shoulder level. Naturally, we want to initiate with our abdominal muscles. Okay, we're going to extend our arms backwards and then bring our arms, our hands up to the middle part of our back. And we're going to hold that position, trying to keep the weight away from your back, trying not to rest it on your back. That will get a really good activation. Gonna do arm pulses up towards the ceiling, trying to keep those elbows as straight as possible, as well as keeping the upper part of the shoulders relaxed and the shoulder blades down. and hold there 
Remember to keep on breathing, bringing those shoulder blades down towards the hips while keeping those elbows straight as possible. Well done everyone. Going into our cool down, we're gonna move our neck to the side and hold it there. And to the other side. Grabbing our head behind, pulling our chin towards the chest. We're gonna go into a crossover arm stretch, keeping those shoulder blades down towards the hips. going to the other side. Going into a tricep stretch, trying to get that arm as far back as possible, even behind the ear. But remember, if you're not able to get there yet, that is perfectly okay. Just go to where you are able to and going to the other side. Going into a side flexion stretch and holding it there with the arm overhead, opening up your rib cage. to the other side. Going into a hamstring scoop stretch. You're more than welcome to put your hand on your legs if you need to. And swapping sides. Going into a figure four stretch, bringing that chest towards your leg, keeping the back nice and straight. And going to the other side. We're going to go into a time of breathing now, focusing on breathing into your hands through the diaphragm and the chest and keeping your shoulders relaxed. Focusing on a deep breath for four seconds through your nose, holding that breath for four seconds, breathing out through your mouth with four seconds and holding that exhale for four and repeating. Even three minutes of deep breathing can activate our vagus nerve and that activates our parasympathetic nervous system which is our rest and digest system. The music is going to continue playing for you to breathe in your own time. 
and when you feel ready you can open your eyes when the music stops playing thanking yourself and thanking yourself for what your body has done today